On the 17th of November 1993, General Sani Abaja, the then Minister of Defense, forced Chief Ernest Shunekon to resign, paving way for a nearly five-year dictatorship in Nigeria. Shunekon was head of the interim national government that was formed by General Ibrahim Badamusi Babangida as part of his exit strategy. The coup was not actually a normal type. According to sources in the interim national government, the coup was sanctioned by Shunekon, who resigned after Abacha informed him that junior officers who were not happy with his leadership were formulating plans to take over the government. The decision, which was initially welcomed by many Nigerians, turned out to be highly regretted by all. In this edition on his pool media, we bring to your view the full speech delivered by General Sani Abacha as he overthrew the interim national government in 1993. Welcome to his pool media, your in-depth history channel. Here is a full speech delivered by General Sani Abacha on the 17th of November 1993. Sequel to the resignation of the former head of the interim national government and commander-in-chief of the armed forces, Chief Anas Shoneka, and my subsequent appointment as head of state and commander-in-chief, I have had extensive consultations within the armed forces hierarchy and other well-meaning Nigerians in a bid to find solutions to the various political, economic, and social problems which have engulfed our beloved country and which have made life most difficult to the ordinary citizens of this nation. Chief Anas Shonekan took over as head of state and commander-in-chief of the Nigerian Armed Forces at the most trying time in the history of our country. Politically, economically, and socially, there were lots of uncertainties. Things appeared bleak and the atmosphere was heavy with uncertainties. However, driven by the belief in himself, his countrymen, and love for his country, he accepted to face the challenges of our time. I will therefore like to take this opportunity to pay tribute to him for his selfless service to the nation. He showed great courage at taking on the daunting task of heading the interim national government even a greater courage to know when to leave. Many have expressed fears about the apparent return of the military. Many have talked about the concern of the international community. However, under the present circumstances, the survival of our beloved country is far above any other consideration. Nigeria is the only country we have we must therefore solve our problems ourselves. We must lay a very solid foundation for the growth of true democracy. We should avoid any ad hoc or temporary solutions. The problems must be addressed firmly, objectively, decisively, and with all sincerity of purpose. Consequently, the following decisions come into immediate effect. The interim national government is hereby dissolved. The national and state assemblies are also dissolved. The state executive councils are dissolved. The brigade commanders are to take over from the governors in their states until administrators are appointed. Where there are no brigade commanders, the commissioners of police in the states are to take over. All local governments stand dissolved. The directors of personnel are to take over the administration of the local governments until administrators are appointed. The National Electoral Commission is hereby dissolved. All former secretaries to federal ministries are to hand over to their director generals until ministers are appointed. The two political parties are hereby dissolved. All processions, political meetings, and associations of any type in any part of the country are hereby banned. Any consultative committee, by whatever name called, is hereby prescribed. Decree 61 of 1993 is hereby abrogated. 
The Provisional Ruling Council is hereby established. It will comprise the Head of State, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as Chairman, the Chief of General Staff as Vice Chairman, the Honorable Minister of Defense, the Chief of Defense Staff, Service Chiefs, the Inspector General of Police, the Attorney General and Minister of Justice, the Internal Affairs Minister, the Foreign Affairs Minister, and the National Security Advisor. Legislative powers will reside in the Council. States will be governed by civilian administrators to be appointed later. Also, a Federal Executive Council will be put in place. Our security system will be enhanced to ensure that lives of citizens, property of individuals are protected and preserved. Drugs trafficking and other economic crimes such as 419 must be tackled and eliminated. On the current strikes throughout the nation, following the increase in the price of oil, I appeal to all the trade unions to return to work immediately. We cannot afford further dislocation and destruction of our economy. On the closed media houses, government is hereby lifting the order of prescription with immediate effect. We, however, appeal to the media houses that in this spirit of national reconciliation, we should show more restraint and build a united and peaceful Nigeria. Fellow Nigerians, the events of the past month starting from the announcement of the June 12 presidential election, culminating in the appointment of the former head of state Chief Anna Shanekan, are well known to you. The economic downturn has undoubtedly been aggravated by the ongoing political crisis. We require a well thought out and permanent solution to these problems if we are to emerge stronger from them. Consequently, a constitutional conference with full constituent powers will be established soon to determine the future constitutional structure of Nigeria. The constitutional conference will also recommend the method of forming parties which will lead to the ultimate recognition of political parties formed by the people. While the conference is on, the reorganization and reform of the following major institutions will be carried out. The military, the police, the customs, the judiciary, NITEL, NNPC, NEPA, the banking industry, and our higher institutions of learning. This regime will be firm, humane, and decisive. We will not condone nor tolerate any act of indiscipline. Any attempt to test our will will be decisively dealt with. For the international community, we add that you suspend judgment while we grapple with the onerous task of nation building, reconciliation. Click here for a detailed account of how Abacha removed Shonekon from office in November 1993. Remember to like this video, subscribe and share with friends as well. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Peace.